So again, simple application. You have your multi-tenant that this example that we are all done several times, the E100, 344, something like that, where you have a multi-tenant that you're gonna select the database name, but in this case, we want to limit the database name to only the department, the site, or the anything, the company ID that the clients are allowed to see. And for that one, we are going to add a query parameter that we call it DB group. And we're gonna pass what is the, the tenant ID, the company ID, or whatever you wanna call it. If you do that, basically you right here, have the database that you want to, to display to that user, tenant two, and you will see different databases and so on. And of course, all of them are the, the, the wrong users and so on. So how do we accomplish this? Like three, four steps, that's it, it's really simple. Middleware, that is taking the request query, but only when the request path has the login page, because that's what we want. And of course, if you come to the startup, and you create your own uh, login page, you should come back to the middleware and uh, adjust that here. If you do that, you create that, uh, get that query parameter and save it in a service. That service, you're gonna register it in the startup. So you have access then everywhere. And then we created a custom property for the string that basically is just, we call it custom string render, but basically that's a bad name. This is a combo box that we're using here. And basically we are passing in the data, we're passing all those tenants right here. We're calling this a dictionary database map because we're mapping those query parameters with the databases that we want to include. But right here, you can read for a read from a file. You can call an API. You can call a database. Maybe you have a shared database where you have things that is just for administration of your all your sites, all your clients. So right there, you go and call it with the right here. You can have the object space, the application provider. You call that and then you, you uh, get the database that you need. And basically you populate that uh, with the tenant that you want and pretty much that's it. Oh, this is a property editor as all of the, with the four part that we already seen, the render, the model, the editor and the adapter, and you're good to go. One thing that is nice that I didn't have a time to show here is how to create a custom route that it will be your domain.com slash client one, tenant one, and that will redirect to that query parameter and then we're gonna do everything exactly the same. Last thing will be, you need to, of course, add the middleware in your configure. So this is uh, important to have it in the, in the order I have. Middleware are going to be executed in order. And that's it. That was a faster explanation, but we stopped recording. So I didn't wanna bore you guys with the same content.